Thank you for joining us for our Gospel Reflection from the Book of Common Prayer Lectionary. My name is Father Tom Papazoglakis, and I serve as rector at St. George's Episcopal Church in Clifton Park, New York. Today is Thursday in Easter week. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, who in the Paschal Mystery established the new covenant of reconciliation, grant that all who have been reborn into the fellowship of Christ's body may show forth in their lives what they profess by their faith. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Our lesson comes from the Gospel of John, the 15th chapter, beginning at the 12th verse. Jesus said, This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I do not call you servants any longer, because the servant does not know what the master is doing. But I have called you friends, because I have made known to you everything that I heard from my Father. You did not choose me, but I chose you. And I appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last so that the Father will give you whatever you ask in my name. I'm giving you these commands so that you may love one another. If the world hates you, be aware that it hated me before it hated you. If you belong to the world, the world would love you as its own. Because you do not belong to the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hates you. Remember the word that I said to you, Servants are not greater than their master. If they persecuted me, they will persecute you. If they kept my word, they will keep yours also. But they will do all these things to you on account of my name, because they do not know him who sent me. If I had not come and spoken to them, they would not have sinned. But now they have no excuse for their sin. Whoever hates me hates my father also. If I had not done among them the works that no one else did, they would not have sinned. But now they have seen and hated both me and my father. It was to fulfill the word that is written in their law. They hated me without a cause. When the Advocate comes, whom I will send to you from the Father, the Spirit of Truth who comes from the Father, he will testify on my behalf. You also are to testify, because you have been with me from the beginning. Here ends the lesson. Jesus came to show all who would listen what it takes to live a life of love, joy, hope, and peace. His teaching was clear that disciples are to have love for one another. Jesus says this is so essential to living life as God intended that he gave this teaching in the form of a commandment. The blinding glimpse of the obvious is that Christians grow by caring for and nurturing one another. Jesus modeled what he expects through his example of humble, sacrificial service, saying and showing us how we are to love as he has loved us. This teaching has a special place at St. George's as our mission statement says we are a community of disciples joyfully reaching out in love to nurture, teach, and heal in Jesus' name. That's obviously much easier said than done, but a purpose and calling worth pursuing all the same. We do not have anything greater than our lives to give for the benefit of another person, especially when that sacrificial choice is done out of love for the well-being of another. Jesus showed his love by dying for those who obey him. In doing this, Jesus changed the status of his followers from being one of master-servant to that of being friends. Jesus turned things upside down when as the teacher, he chose his disciples as opposed to the more common practice of disciples picking a teacher. Jesus chose his followers for a mission and a purpose in accordance with the Father's will. Putting God first is the key. 
Jesus assures his followers that because their mission and purpose is found in and through the Father's will, the Father will hear and answer whatever they ask in his name. This is contrary to the economy of a world that values service to self first. Jesus alerts his disciples to the fact of the world under Satan's power is full of hatred that is hostile to God. A fundamental reason for the world's hatred of a Christian lies in the differences that come from knowing God and living life as God intends. It is simply a radically different standard of life that comes from accepting Jesus and choosing to step out of the darkness of this world. The apostles were to bear witness to the facts that they came to know. We are to do the same. As the apostles witnessed, the Holy Spirit persuaded and people were saved. The same combination of human obedience to the divine command coupled with the witness of the Spirit is as much needed today as it ever has been. Let us pray. O God, the author of peace and lover of concord, to know you is eternal life and to serve you is perfect freedom. Defend us, your humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in your defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries. Through the might of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you for joining us, and join us every weekday for our Gospel Reflection. If you live in the Clifton Park area, please plan to join us for worship at 4.30 on Saturday afternoons or 9 a.m. on Sunday mornings. If you're unable to join us in person, join us virtually through our YouTube channel. You can check out our webpage for all in-person and virtual offerings. Thank you.